What's up, everybody? You know who it is. I picked up Titanfall for the PC. I got an Xbox 360, but I don't have an Xbox One, and I figured I might as well pick it up for, you know, the best system I got it for right now could be for the PC. Got some decent um, hardware for it, but... Anyways, I just want to kind of give you guys my thoughts and everything, what I've been playing lately. Some Titanfall on the PC, and if anybody else is playing some Titanfall, let me know. Put down your... Uh, your name so I can add you on here or something. Because right now I'm just running a gunner by myself. But I just want to kind of explain what, what happened when I put the game in. Okay, so when the, the last first person shooter I played was Battlefield 3. That was a while ago. They even got Battlefield 4 out now. Um, so uh, so I put it on. And I'm one of those guys that is, it's not, I'm not that great. Not that good. I will actually count the seconds before I'm dead in Call of Duty games. You know, jump out, hop out. Five, four, three, bam, dead. It's like they instant, they just ha somehow instantly know where I'm at. You know, whether they got the see through the wall situations, whatever it is. But I want to kind of give you guys my thoughts and everything, my review on this game, even though it's been out for a while. Um, right now, they got a lot of free maps you could download, download free map packs. So it's really cool time to be playing some Titanfall. But, anyways, let me just kind of tell you what happened. So I put the game in, load it up. You know, I'm very uh, optimistic. I'm very uh, critical. Critical. I'm very. I'm. I'm a kind of a hard critic. You guys probably didn't know that. I put the game in. I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. What is this going to be? A wannabe Halo? Is this going to be like a what kind of you know? And I wanted a game that was like futuristic, but not so futuristic. You know, I still wanted the double jumps. I still wanted the wall climb, the parkour, all that stuff. And this game, well, let me tell you. So I get off the ship. The game starts up. I do the campaign mode. I get off the ship, and when I hit the ground, I'm like. I mean, I remember my last last first person shooter was uh, was uh, Battlefield Three, so I haven't played a first person shooter in a long time, uh, you know. And the graphics I'm coming off from playing at other games, the Skylanders, which is like a kiddie game, uh, call it what you will, but it is very like happy go lucky graphics, not very evil, not very gr gruesome, whatever. Uh, and uh, Warcraft I play, so that's like what 2005 graphics. Um, but anyways, I get off here. And I'm just immersed. I'm just, I'm look. I don't even care about fighting. I'm just like looking around the world. I get. I like to play the maps just to look at the maps. I'm walking around just looking at. There's one canyon map. I I don't even know the name of it. It's got dinosaurs and stuff like uh, pterodactyls and big huge animals walking around and. That's that's such a sweet level. I'm just sitting there walking around, just looking up in the sky. One level I went to, get off the ship, look up in the sky. It wasn't just a little earth in the sky. You know, they always got moons or something in the in the, the sky ground, in the background. No, this was a huge planet, so big that it almost took up the whole sky above me. And I just stood there for like five minutes just looking around. Of course, dying every couple seconds because people just see me standing there. But I'm like more into the environment almost more than I am with the fighting part of it. I still got a lot to learn on the fighting, but I'm getting down. I'm getting the parkour down, running against the walls, bouncing off the walls, jumping in your mechs. You know, they got mech. It's like mech warrior involved. Um, uh, it's really, I, if you never played it and you thought about playing it, get it. Because it's not like Battlefield where there's like 30 on 30 or whatever the whatever the people that could be on Battlefield. It's like, uh, I believe it's 6 on 6, I believe. And some and a lot of those people are uh, um, the people that add in there are the AI. So even though you're thinking you might be firing at somebody, uh, it's actually just AI. But the only thing I really have, the only complaint that I had, there's always good and bad, right? The good is the graphics are freaking great. The the gameplay, the hopping, the jumping, the uh, you know you throwing grenades, all the stuff like all first person shooter do. Uh, but the thing I complain about is the smart gun. Uh, it's like a pistol that follows you, and if you lock on to people, you, you can kill three people at one time. Um, also, the kicking in the game, you run up to someone, just kick them, and they're dead. I don't know anybody that's ever died from a kick, um, unless it's like to the head and it causes hemorrhage or something in real life. But yeah, so that, that part I don't like. Someone walks up to you and just kicks you and you're dead. Anyways, so Titanfall, man. If you guys never got it, thinking about getting it, for whatever system, just get it. It is a fun game. Um, I was talking to somebody at work, and we are talking about Call of Duty, talking about Battlefield, talking about Titanfall, and uh, Destiny. We are trying to talk about all the first-person shooters and what is the best and what people thought. And I kind of just kind of edged more towards Titanfall. And that's where I went, and that's what's behind me. And before I was going to play it, I might as well do a little review video of it, you know, of what I've been playing for the last three days. 19 bucks at Walmart, and they got free downloadable maps. So there's tons of maps on there. I, I still haven't even seen them all. But as far as uh, coming back to first-person shooters, Titanfall is definitely a game to pick up, and I recommend it for anybody that wants to get back into first-person shooter. Um, 
Those Titans will wreck your butt. Yeah, they're like one-hitter quitters. They see you, you're done. So they got cloaking in this game. You can cloak for a little bit. A um, little bit of stealth action going on. Uh, definitely some parkour, like I said, hopping. I love climbing on walls. It's like you feel like you're Spider-Man running around with some guns. So yeah, man, definitely pick up Titanfall. Like I said, if anybody gets it for the PC, let me know. And that is my review for Titanfall. What if What if I was a critic? If I gave this a 10, uh, what would I give this? A 9 out of 10. The only thing I complain about are those freaking smart weapons. But you know what? If I complain, if you can't beat them, join them, right? So I'll go get the little smart pistols. And kicking, I don't like that part. But what else? I, there's nothing else I really could complain about. Everything is sweet. So get the game. Later. Love.